We see a lot of Cadillacs, but there's only two in the world just like this one. I'm Chris Woodyard from USA Today here with Leslie Kendall of the Peterson Automotive Museum. This is a Cadillac that was coachworked by Gia. Leslie, tell us about it. There's a lot special about this car, and it, the body is only the beginning. Back in 1953, it was still possible for any consumer to buy just the chassis from an automobile manufacturer and send it to Italy or send it to France or send it someplace else to have a body built from scratch to your own individual design or the design of a professional coach builder. And only a couple of these were built, and these were done by both by Ghia. Ghia in Italy, I think we've heard of the Carmen Ghia. Well, Ghia actually did the design of that Carmen Ghia body. Carmen in Germany built the body, but it was a Ghia design. Here we have that similar thinking scaled way, way up on a luxurious 1953 Cadillac chassis. Um, and you really have the perfect marriage of, of American practicality and European flair. What's special about this coach work? What turns you on about this car? What, what's so interesting about this coachwork is that it embodies everything that's beautiful about Italian design. It's low, it's fleet looking, it's very angular, it's concise. In 1953, the American Cadillac was still a little bit bulbous. It had fins that were just starting to get bigger. It was a, a little bit... Um, a little puffy in some areas and had lots and lots of chrome that some people thought really didn't need to be there. When you gave that chassis to Ghia in Italy and you said, Ghia, why don't you interpret a two-seater on a Cadillac? Ghia said, I know exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to give it four headlights, maybe one of the first cars in the world with four headlights. I'm going to reduce the grill to only the size it absolutely needs to be. And I'm going to make it a very simple grid pattern, kind of an egg crate pattern. I'm going to make the fenders go from one end to the other in one sweeping curve. I'm going to make the rear window a divided rear window. I'm going to give it that little bit of flair. I'm going to put gills on the side and I'm going to put slats of chrome, thin slats of chrome on each side so to give it that, that feeling of movement even when it was standing still. So as you can see, this car could not have turned out more beautiful. At the Peterson Automotive Museum in Los Angeles, under renovation, I'm Chris Woodyard for USA Today.